Good afternoon, Oliver here from Ransom Taggart. You join me in Ashington Village today. We're here to see this really lovely three bedroom detached house. You can just about see behind me, uh, tucked away in this really nice secluded plot. Um, lovely spot, lovely house and great plot. So let's go and have a look around. So here we are outside, just give you a bit of orientation before we head inside. So it's number two Willow Way. Um, the house you can see just behind the hedge road there. Um, so it's really nice corner plot, very secluded. Uh, Willow Way just continues into a no-through road uh, with uh, you know, lots of similar residential properties. Just heading east, uh, literally just a few minutes walk, you'll be right in the middle of Ashington Village. Um, there's a pharmacy, small parade of shops, uh, co-op, um, and a really lovely uh, gastro pub called The Red Lion, which is uh, very well regarded. There's a local primary school as well, which is uh, re really well regarded in the local area. And secondary education, I think, leads into Stenning here, which is just a few miles away. And uh, also very well thought of. Um, we'll just point out, just behind the property, there's a light industrial unit. Um, they make tools, I believe, all sorts of tools. So there that is there. That's what the property just backs onto. So that's been there. The vendor's been here for 30 plus years and that's always been there, never had any problems. Nice location, nice and quiet. So let me take you inside. So the one thing you've got here, as I mentioned, is a really lovely plot. So let's just show you around that before we go inside. So the garden to the front. All fenced in. This just leads up to the garage and as you can see parking area back out onto Willow Way. So you can see that's where we were just a moment ago. So that's the parking for the property there and the garage. Handy little cut through here if you don't want to go the long way round. Take you into the back garden in just a moment, but that gate there just leads you into it. So in we go. Okay, so here we are. So we've got an entrance hall as you come in. Stairs leading up to the first floor. Small sort of storage bay there. So quite handy if you want to coats and shoes. Door to your left immediately leads into downstairs cloakroom, as you can see. And first room we come into is a sitting room. So really well presented this house. Great condition throughout. Bit of a blank canvas though, so there's plenty of opportunity to add your own taste, should you wish. But really good size sitting room this. So that sort of bay just fronts, uh, gives a view over the front garden. There's a useful understairs storage cupboard there just by the television. And then this arch just takes us into the dining area. So again, comfortable size. Get a glimpse of the rear garden from here. So you've got quite a large window here, which just leads out into that rear garden, which is lovely. And this wall just separates the dining area from the kitchen. So an obvious thing that people may wish to do is to consider removing this wall and creating a sort of larger open plan kitchen dining space. But the kitchen's actually quite a good size. You've got plenty of unit space here Plenty of storage, got integrated oven, dishwasher. There's also an integrated waist height fridge, uh, separate fridge and separate freezer. Again, view over the garden. And it's actually quite a nice stable door here, which just takes you out to a sort of rear courtyard as well. Again, show you around there properly in a moment. Got one more room on the ground floor. 
which is this conservatory. So this was added in the mid 90s, I believe, by the current owners. It was a big space, very big space actually. Again, gives a great view over the garden. Those large doors there leading out to an additional patio. So really nice secluded outlook everywhere you look. The central heating and power in this conservatory, it's just worth pointing out. So upstairs we go. So again, the bedrooms in these older properties, I think this was built in approximately 70s, brilliant. So I'll show you the smallest bedroom first. Here we are, you can see there's a comfortable double bedroom there with a lot of fitted furniture, study space. This really is very good size. Bearing in mind, we also have a fitted double wardrobe. Got another large double bedroom here. Again, as you can see, lots of freestanding furniture, chest of drawers, and we also have two built-in double wardrobes. So this aspect is over the rear, just over that conservatory area there. And final bedroom, again, also very generous double bedroom, as you can see. So really, really good size. All of the bedrooms are very large. You can see there's lots of furniture in all the bedrooms and it all fits very comfortably. And again, this just looks over towards the road. Just see that car's just come in from the village high street leading up to the cul-de-sac to your right. And again, just worth pointing out behind the, the door, there is fitted wardrobes. Air and cupboard just over the stairs. And finally, got the main bathroom, which again is a really good size. So you've got a good size bath, there is a shower over the bath. And you can just pan around to see the window and the basin just tucked away in the corner with some storage space underneath. So just take you out into the rear garden now. So this is leading from the kitchen stable door, immediately come into this rear patio section. The gate to the right just takes you back out to the front of the house, to the front door, front garden. And the vendors here have done a great job of this garden. It really is lovely. It's been a bit of a labor of love for them. And you can see that as we walk around. Um, just some useful areas just to point out. We've got a bin store here. Again, just nicely tucked away. Not sure if the mangle's included. So what you'll see is the garden just opens up. We've got these beautiful, attractive borders. Really, really private. We're here just towards the end of May. Approximately half past 12. Fortunately, the sun is just covered by that cloud. But I can tell you, the way the camera is facing at the moment just is pretty much due south. So, and as we lead over to this corner, the owner tells me this gets the last of the setting sun. So this is a really nice place to sit out in the evening. Uh, the door just leads into the rear of the garage. So again, it really is nice. Beautiful, very private. Just give you a proper corner view from here. So still got lots of potential, the house has plenty of opportunity to extend and improve. And in terms of where we're situated, I mean, Ashington's a great location. It's a nice, quiet village, got a lovely pub, as I mentioned, but very, very quick access to the A24. You're just 10 miles from Horsham, 10 miles from Worthing, a few miles from Storrington, four or five miles from Storrington Village as well. You know, so all very accessible. So that's it, that's Two Willow Way. We hope you like what you see, but if you have any questions or want to know more, please don't hesitate to give us a call.